I have this fear of growing old and not being able to remember half the things that happened in my life. With technology, it's really easy to go back and look at old photos or calendar events and see what I've been doing, but there's no way for me to go back and relive the emotions I was feeling in those moments. I have no way of going back and seeing the growth that I've had for my mindset and just my overall self-development. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the most important apps in my app toolbox called Day One. It's a journaling app that lets me capture my deepest emotions and reflections in a secure and memorable place. Hi there, my name is Manith Paul Singh. On this channel, we talk about all the different ways we can use technology as a tool to live a more productive life. Whether it's to get more work done or just to optimize our existing workflows, we'll be talking about all the ways we can use tech to accomplish this. Now, I discovered this journaling app six years ago now, but let me do one better. It was actually Friday, January 16th, 2015 at 2.56 a.m. It was about 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I had just come home from a trip to California and I was really excited because of my application for the grant to make my documentary that I posted in 2016 had just been approved that day and I was really, really pumped to hear that in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning. I know all of this because that was my first journal entry when I discovered this app. It's a snapshot back in time to that day at that time telling me exactly how I was feeling. The idea of daily journaling always intrigued me, but it was just an idea. It was never something I actually did. I love the thought of having a diary or a journal where I could just write freely about my thoughts and reflections and having a place where I can just do that without any fear of judgment. And putting the reflection thing aside, I was just really excited about the idea of having a journal where I can capture all the things I was doing every day. So I could go back in time and actually revisit all the tasks and accomplishments I had achieved in that time of my life. Now, I loved all this in theory, but I never actually did it. That's for two reasons. Firstly, and it's still true today, I'm just too lazy to write anything down with pen and paper. It just takes too long. But secondly, I've always had this fear that someone would find my journal and the whole point of having a secure place where I can just talk freely to myself would be ruined. And that's when I discovered the day one app back in January of 2015. This app is specifically designed for journaling and it basically addresses every single concern I had that was stopping me from getting started. I'm gonna break this video down into three different sections. Firstly, I'll be going through all the amazing features of the app that made me love it so much. Secondly, I'll be talking about my personal system for how I capture a journal entry every single night. And third, I'll be talking a bit about reflection and why that's so important. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel for a few months now, you know I just made a video not too long ago about journaling in Notion. In 2020, I made a really good habit of daily journaling and I actually made the switch from day one to Notion, but after using Notion for a while, I made the switch back from Notion to day one, and that's strictly because the feature set of day one is just so much more pleasant to use. Firstly, with Notion, there's very limited security. It's a note-taking app. It's not really meant to be super secure. I can just go to my computer, unlock my computer with my password, and Notion just opens up like normal. But for a journal, I want an extra layer of security. I don't want just some random person grabbing my phone or my computer and and opening up my journal. With day one, you can actually add a special passcode just to that one app, and that app could actually have a separate passcode from the rest of your phone or your computer, and I really, really wanted that. Secondly, with Notion, there's quite a bit of time investment you have to do to set up your journal. With day one, this app is specifically designed for journaling. It's just so easy to use. For example, in the app, you can actually choose between a calendar view, a map view, a media view, and a timeline view. And it's just so cool because this is very clearly meant so you can easily go back and reflect on your old entries, especially things like a map view. It'll just tag your location based on where you are when you make your journal entry. And you can just see all around the world where you've been and what your entries were from those locations. On top of that, besides location, day one actually takes a lot more metadata from your phone as you enter in new entries. Things like the weather, the moon phase, the altitude in which you're on, the device you're using, and the software version on the device, and activity data, you can add music and things like that. There's just so much additional information that you can add that automatically gets captured using this app. But the one really useful feature that I like a lot is when I enter in a new entry and I want to attach a photo, it'll actually connect to my photo library and show me all the photos I took 
on that day. I could even go back in time to old entries and do this for older entries that don't have photos already. This one set of features alone is enough to switch from Notion to day one. With Notion, I was entering a lot of this information in manually, especially pictures. It was always a pain going back and finding the pictures that you wanna add. With day one, it just brings you right to the day that you've taken pictures by connecting directly to your photo library. And of course, on top of that, it's nice to have things like the weather of the day and other small details like that. Now, putting all of these basic features aside, day one has quite a few advanced features as well. One useful feature thing many people would enjoy is the ability to have multiple journals in the same app. I only have one journal for everything, but I see a lot of people online who like to have a work journal, a life journal, and just keeping all those things separate in a very organized way, all in one application. Another very useful feature is the ability to have hashtags throughout your journal entries. If you wanna tag a specific journal entry with a hashtag, you can do that, and it makes searching for it a lot easier later on. But as you can see over here, there's already so many other ways to search. Hashtags really aren't even necessary because the built-in search is just so good because it has so much information captured already with each entry. And the last really cool feature I wanna talk about are templates. Templates make it super easy to go back and enter in entries every single day with ease and no friction at all. They even have some daily entries and other ones to choose from, but you can obviously make your own custom template just the way you want it. Now, templates are a great segue to the next section of this video where I'll be showing you exactly how I capture my daily journal entries every single night. Now, the template that I made is called Everyday Journal, and when I click on this and hit the edit button, you're gonna see a few different headings come up, but before I talk about that, let me just say one disclaimer. Whenever I write my entries, I give myself permission to be as open, honest, transparent, and raw as I possibly need to be for that entry. It's really important to me that I have a space where I can just write things down without having any fear of judgment or anything like that. Just verbally expressing your emotions, that is a skill that doesn't come easy to me, and I'm sure it's the same for many people watching this right now. Having a space where you can do that is really, really helpful, and just giving yourself that permission is really, really useful. Useful too. So going back to my template over here, the very first thing I do is just a very basic brain dump of all the things I got done during the day so I can capture those accomplishments. The next heading I have over here is the Gulab Jamin Daily Highlight. This is something that's very personal to me and I'm a little nervous to be sharing it right now on camera, but I think it's really important. Right now, I'm almost married, getting married later this year, and until then, me and my fiance are long distance. And having a place in my daily journal where I can go back and reflect on the day that we've had together whether it was a memory that we made over Zoom, something that made us laugh, just capturing these moments. I know five years from now, when I look back on this part of my life, I will be so grateful for having these little memories written down because this is not part of something that we'll be doing in the future. Five years from now, my life will be very different than it is right now. Just having these moments that we've been experiencing over Zoom is something I really want to capture. The next thing I have over here is my gratefulness log. I think it's really important to write down every single day just a few things that you're grateful for no matter how big or small they are. Again, just reinforcing that positivity every single day really makes a difference. The last section I have in my template is for today's story. And this is something I just recently added that I'm really enjoying so far. It's basically a way to improve your storytelling skills. Every single day, we have things that happen in our life that are stories, and we normally think of stories like travel experiences, things we do when we go out of the house and have an adventure, but reality is the the real stories of our life are the things that happen to us every single day. Those are the moments that make us grow and evolve. And I really wanna make sure I reinforce the idea of capturing those moments in a story format and getting into the habit of thinking of those moments like stories and not just thinking of stories as something that has to be an extravagant adventure. We have stories that happen to us every single day in our life. And the last thing I do before ending my journal entry is attach a picture or even a video from the day into my journal and I find this is a really fun way to have a more visual gallery view of all your journal entries. It's really fun to find one picture that kind of represents your day for you to go back and look back on later on. I don't put any pressure on myself to go out and take a picture to represent my day. It could be literally anything from a picture of my food to a picture of our puppy. It doesn't really matter. I just like having random pictures attached to my journal entries too. Now once we get into the habit of entering in daily journal entries, we can start seeing the rewards of doing this 
this over time. I think of daily journaling as the same thing as planting a tree. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time is right now. Same thing with daily journaling. The earlier you start, the better off you'll be to see the rewards. Now, I only really started daily journaling back in July of 2020, but I did have this app for several years before that, and I have random entries that I've put in over the years, and I can definitely tell the benefits of having this. I can go back and see little snapshots of my days from those random memories I've written down in my journal, and it's really, really fun to have. One of the best features of the day one app, and one of the main features why I chose this over Notion is the on this day feature. This feature will actually show you all the daily journal entries that you've made on this exact day from previous years. I don't have any of these right now, but I cannot wait until I get to the point where every day I have a whole backlog of entries to reflect on from the years in the past. The app is also very cool to remind you every single day at any time that you choose to remind you to write your daily journal entry. That helps a lot for me to keep that practice going. And of course, if you do have entries on the on this day feature, it'll let you know of that as well. If you're interested in daily journaling and want to try out the day one app, check out the free app in the app store. It's also available on Android. Most of the features I just talked about in this video are free in the free version of the app. However, if you want to take this a little more seriously and have the ability to sync between multiple devices like on the Mac and on your phone and also have an online backup and a few other cool features, I think the premium version for 35 bucks a year is totally worth the investment. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video on daily journaling in Notion. That is where I really started to daily journal every single day. Notion has definitely more pros that I can't talk about in this video, but at the end of the day, I do feel day one is the better app to use. It's still really cool to go back and compare the two side by side. Definitely check that out and I'll see you in the next video.